Hey there folks, it's Will here over to fxace.com. First of all, welcome to the video. And it is the end of another fantastic uh, trading week and also the, near the end of uh, another fantastic trading month. So in this video, is we're just going to go over this week's performance of my new service, which is the Forex Signal service, which you can see we guarantee that you'll make 900 pips every 90 days or your money back. I also, for the first couple of months, I'm giving away my most powerful day trading uh, super bot for every new uh, subscriber to the signals. So this video, we're just going to go over the signals that were sent out this week and show you how they performed. Okay, so this was the signals that were sent last week. You can see June the 23rd, which we sent out on a Sunday. They're weekly trades and we send them out on a Sunday. Okay. All these trades were closed uh, yesterday at the end of the, or during the Euro session, just because there were uh, nearly 450 to 500 pips in the profit. Um, we just closed all the positions. The G20 meetings were beginning, and we've got some news on the uh, CAD dollar today, in the, the GDP results, and the GDP results in the British pound, which is about 30 minutes away. So I'm doing this video early this week. These are the trades that were sent out, and you can see there was all 12 of them here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, twelve. Okay. This one, there's two that didn't. Uh, we put them in as pending orders. GD GBP Swiss franc didn't. Uh, Activate and neither did the euro uh, GDP. Now, for the subscriber signal, subscribers we did get a bonus signal on the euro GDP on Wednesday, but it wasn't going much anywhere yesterday, so we closed out for a slight 20 pip profit. Okay, because we closed all the positions yesterday, and yeah, so we're going to enjoy the rest of the week. So, the first trade we're going to look at is the euro Swiss franc. Okay, so let's head over to the charts euro uh, Swiss franc. Okay, um, the entry in this signal, you can see the entry was, we put in the entry for 111, so 11, 100. Okay, we closed this position yesterday for a, something like a 30 pip profit during the Euro session, and it's looking like it's coming back up today, but it was a nice trade here. Okay, didn't really move much this week, a lot of spiky candles. And is telling us that it's bottom, bottoming out at <clears throat> kind of this breakout zone here. Okay, this is what we took the trade. It was this bit of resistance here. And I was liking it this week to rally up. Okay, off the weekly charts. Okay, so didn't really do much this week. We did manage to get a, a few pips profit on it, 30 pips, but nothing uh, special. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is the Euro... G J P Y Euro Yen and we entered this trade at 121.650. Okay, so we're just going to head over to the Euro Yen, which is here, and you can see we're in this deep in this weekly zone here. This is why we entered the trade in the weekly and the instead of daily here five days ago from last week. Okay, what I was hoping at the start of the week was that it would drop and then we'd get the, the move back up, which has happened. Okay, off the four hour charts. Okay, so we get in on this candle here, and you can see from around about Wednesday, it's moved up nearly, we got nearly 110 pips on that trade yesterday. Okay, this is where we entered. You can see the signal here, close yesterday, stop loss, take profit. Okay, Thursday, near the end of the week, 100 pips for the good, 110 pips for the good, we closed the trade. Okay, next one we're going to look at is the British Pound uh, USD. Okay, British Pound USD. Okay, so last week, this, the reason for this trade was basically because it broke out last week of, of closed above the 127, okay, last Friday. Now, what I was hoping for this week was a pullback and then started to take off again. We did get the pullback, the entry was 20. 127.50. Okay, it did pop up yesterday too. There, it's kind of 
starting the bottom right in this four hour zone here so I'm still liking this trade to go to the upside we're getting a, like a nice buy signal there also inside that four hour zone so I am liking this to continue to rally up higher it just ha might never know today I could uh, continue up so let's see what happens on it yesterday you actually closed this trade around 127 so we lost about 5 pips on that okay no problem next trade was British pound Swiss franc well that didn't activate but just let's have a look at it and see okay it didn't activate it didn't hit our area and just continued to drop this week okay we are in this kind of range, bottom of this range area here so I am liking this to get some sort of retracement coming in the next coming weeks so but it did not happen this week we've had nearly a 10 week drop in it so I do expect that to turn around sometime soon okay next one is the Kiwi Yen okay so this was a really great trade this week we closed it for another 110 pip profit and it's actually been rallying still since then okay so the entry in this trade was 70 71 you can see here okay 71 by Kiwi Yen at 71 okay <clears throat> and this trade entered on Tuesday and you can see from the past four days to the end of the week it's really been rocketing up there was good news in the kiwi this week you can see here and it's just been moving up since we got 110 pips in that trade you can see we're in this weekly area so that was the reason for looking for it we're looking for bullish momentum on it and we got it nice huge weekly candle on it so 110 pips on the kiwi yen this week beautiful trade next one we had was the aussie uh cad okay the Aussie CAD, let's have a look. Aussie CAD, okay, so you can see we're in this weekly area, so hence the reason we're looking to trade for this. Um, we did get the signal last week on it, so this is just a basic signal. We've got a narrow divergence inside the weekly zones, and we sent the signal out on Sunday for it to go up at 91,600. Okay, so most likely it's been waiting for the CAD GDP results today before it's been going to take off. Okay, so it is 25 pips for the good at the minute. So it was a nice signal this week, and I am expecting that to start uh, rocketing up from here. Okay, next one was the Aussie Swiss franc, which was another great trade this week. Aussie uh, Swiss franc. Okay, you can see we're in the weekly area, it's been dropping for like 12, 11 or 12 straight, straight weeks and was expecting the tracement to happen this week based on the 4 hour okay so you can see the signal we got here and we had to just trade at 67,500 again this was a nice 67,500 which was down here entered the signal and you can see we got another 110 pips on it yesterday so a beautiful signal this week. Next one was the Aussie Yen. Again, another great trade this week. And the reason for this trade was basically kind of this resistant area here in the weekly. Just kind of overrid it last week. We're in the daily zone here. And we entered this trade at 74.400. And it really just took off from there. Okay, so Monday we had the huge drop down to get us into the position. Just about got us in, and since there it's been rocking up. So that's another 120 pips on that trade this week. That we closed here yesterday. So it is. You can just cross-reference these. This is all real time. You can see this email was sent on the 23rd. And these are, are all the signals that were sent out. Okay, so there's no BS here. You can actually just go and check the charts. Okay, the next one was the best trade of the week, which was the Euro uh, Aussie. And it I nearly showed nearly 190 pips for the good. We closed out around 150 pips, but it continued to drop overnight. 
as the Aussie's been very uh, strong this week. And we got into this trade at 163.900. And you can see it's at 162.300 now on Friday, the end of the week. And basically, this was a simple trade. We're in a weekly zone, we're in a daily, and we just enter the trade to go to, enter the, trade to, the, to the downside. Reason yesterday again, just closing out towards the end of the week, we had a nice drop and 150 pips for the good. Okay, it's pretty clear here. See, okay, Monday we had the entry signal, uh, just about got us in with a few pips, uh, and then it's been, you can see, nearly a 180 pip drop, 200 pip drop from the entry on Monday. So, a lovely, lovely, lovely signal on it. That was trade of the week. Next one, next one was the Euro CAD. Okay, so. These Euro card pairs haven't really been doing much. We actually took a loss on this one, 149.70, 700 we got in at. And we closed this trade yesterday around 149.100. We took 60 pip loss on it, okay? Just, it is at a nice area, it's in, at this nice bottom resistance here on the weekly. We're at a daily zone here at the bottom of the weekly. And yeah, thought this week we could have uh, been getting in to the upside. Okay, so maybe next week this would be a nice trade, depending on the GDP results today with the card, because it could uh, turn this into a huge two, three hundred pip trade today. Okay, so that one we didn't do too well on. Next one was the British pa Euro, uh, British pound, which did not trigger. Okay, didn't trigger. We were looking to get in at. 89.100 this week, and you can see it never got there this week. Nearly did, but it didn't enter. Okay, and it's rocketed up since. This was a bonus trade this week to get in again, and I sent the signal out on Wednesday for 89.700. We got 20 or 30 pips on it yesterday, and we just closed all the trades yesterday, and it was a nice uh, bonus trade. But again, um, I am liking this for a another sale trade at some point over the next coming weeks okay so that one didn't trigger and the last trade of the week was British Pound CAD okay this is probably the worst trade of the week as we got stopped out okay this trade stopped us out and this is the reason we use stops okay so Got in at 167.70 and the stop was 166.500. Okay, so you can see it's continued to move down another uh, 70 pips from our entry. Okay, this obviously didn't work this week. This is the reason here we're hoping for a bit of a reaction here to continue to get a little bit weaker. Maybe targeting this weekly area down here. We don't know. Okay, so this trade didn't work out this week, all the other ones did. So we had 12 signals, two didn't enter, so we had 10 trades that entered, and we had two losing positions, or sorry, three losing positions, so that was a 70% accuracy, and overall we made around uh, 450 to 500 pips, depending on some of the, the guys in the trading room. Okay, so it was an awesome week. If you're interested in accessing my weekly uh, trading signals, which is here, you can simply click the link below, which will send to this page, the FXA's Forex Signals, where I guarantee you'll make 500, 900 pips every 90 days. I'm also giving you my Forex Day Trading Superbot, valued at $497, absolutely free, just as a thank you for trying the signals and coming in. Okay, so you click over to that page there, and once you sign up, the bot is yours forever here. We guarantee you'll make 900 pips or your money back every 90 days. So simply head over. If you have any questions, let me know at well at the fxs.com. Sign up to probably the best signals, Forex signals on the internet, as no one else will guarantee you results like we do. And as you can see from last week's signals and cross referencing with your charts, you can see our signals are very, very powerful. Why? Because we're real traders, trading real money, and we know what we're doing. We've got a plan, we've got a strategy. And we go off the higher time frames where the smart money is looking at. Okay, so click the link below, get signed up to the signal today. And if you have any questions, let me know at well at the fxes.com.
and have a 